Hi, I'm Jen. Yesterday Jennifer took us through building a foundation. Well, today we're going to talk about how engaging with God's presence means there's nothing between Him and I. And it may be something even as insignificant as just being too busy to stop and focus on Him during the day. But we really want nothing to interrupt that awareness of Him in our lives. And you know, one of the best ways to help ourselves do that is to build the right kind of walls or boundaries in our lives. Walls are good. They protect us from bad. They help prevent others from taking advantage of us when we are clear about where our boundaries are. They also keep us healthy and well, protecting the good things that we want to have in our lives. Walls are also beneficial because they can help us keep distractions out. A wall is built when we say, I'm not going to allow that behavior into my life because it opens a door of temptation for me. Or, I'm going to put limits on my time for the sake of having enough to give my family. I want to highlight something real quick. Building healthy walls or boundaries in your life doesn't mean you are weak. It means you are wise. Let me unpack that a little. We are human. We are weak in and of ourselves. Building boundaries into our lives to help us stay in that place of God's best life for us is exactly what we should do. You know, I remember when I was on my journey of healing and freedom from the binge eating disorder that I had. God was working, I was leaning in closer to Him, and He was showing me the pain I needed healing from, the things I needed to forgive, and resolving the root issues of fear and unworthiness that were actually driving my need for binging. I was in process on the journey and still struggling with overeating now and then and going to food for comfort. Well, God made it clear that while I was on this road to healing and freedom, I needed to put up some guardrails or walls on both sides of that path to help me stay on that path. So for me, in that specific situation, it meant having accountability with how much I was eating and exercising. So for you, it depends on what your temptation is as to what your walls may need to be. If it's drugs and alcohol, then it means staying away from places where those are accessible to you. If it's lust, then it means not reading that romance novel or making sure you have accountability software on your internet. If it's jealousy or grumbling and complaining, it means refusing to allow yourself to go down those trains of thought or speaking and choosing to love others and focus on being grateful to God instead. It's not easy, my friends, but it is worth it. I love this verse in Proverbs 4.23 that says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. There's nothing better here on earth than experiencing God's presence in our lives. So let's build those strong, healthy boundaries where we need them in order to stay close to Him. You have a great week, and we'll talk to you next time.